So, here for the quarterfinals of the High Roller Draft League. Going to be up against Tid Vicious, uh, the only 7 1 in, um, in the Swiss rounds. So. Okay, they are much more trick room than I did against practice. I did go against this a little bit, but. This could be a bit awkward. Took Stomping Phantom off the Grim Smell, and there is the Magna Zone. So. If I don't speak as much, it's because there's, there's like a hundred dollars on the line, so forgive me if I focus. Okay. That's something for sure. It's our best, so that's what was in practice in Magna, okay. Right, so that means I can absolutely suck punch the tornado if I wanted to. Probably gonna airstream. The Magna Zone is likely fast. We will see how fast. They do indeed. It's debating faking out the Magna Zone, but then Icy Wind just gets cancelled by airstream. So it doesn't really make a difference. But I'll survive this turn unless it's Steel Beam. Because I know it's Magnet, but Flash Cannon won't do as much. What I could have done was go for Strike and Icy Wind. That might be something to consider in the future. So that's just Airstream, and then how fast is the Magnet Zone? They need to be Jolly Max. Or effectively. Effectively Jolly Max. And they are. Okay. So, and that's just a Warus Beat Control that I'm probably going to lose. So. Mm, the Tornado is actually going to run away with this game at this point, isn't it? I don't have much for it anymore. Because the Magna Zone is going to be a bit too awkward. The yeah, Abelug could do okay, but it will just get Flash Cannon. But they have to choose now if they want. This should be better. Because if they do, they have to double target the Abelug to KO it. And that would allow an Icicle Sphere and a Fall of Sleep of the Micro Zone if they do. So. It's 
fortunate getting the, the, the yawn on them, I can say. So it's only a 50% chance. I think it's like the tiniest amount of percent either side of 50%. I can't remember which one, but you now just going into the Avalog. Nope, they're going for Grim Snow. I'll survive a flash cannon. This was a good turn for me. Oh, it was Steel Beam! Oh no! Ah, oh, but the AV! Okay. Uh, but that gives them a paid switch. Um, I need a lot of spears to KO this tornado. So at least it's bypassing the assault western completely. Okay, just just like three spears, Avalok. Like, come on. That's a good crit. And I got the yawn, so. But hopefully I'm just KOing with three spears, at least. It seems like it needs just three. Do three. Let's do three. Okay, so. That's not bad. That's not bad. What are the last? They did have Steel Beam, unfortunately, but the AV was touch. That is good to know that they do. Ashifu makes sense. And Azumarill makes sense. So... Um, this will come down to some poison jab stuff, I think. Definitely do it. Just wicked blow, okay. But that's not doing much because Avalug is an absolute beast. So now I get to click Horn Leech into Azumarill and Body Press into Urshifu, and theoretically, I am fine. If they close combat, protect the Azumarill, and then poison jab me. They are life up on the Azumarill. So it's better to Horn Lich the Urshifu, and then Iron Defense with the Avalog, and then it wins against the Azumarill. Should be fine. This KOs for sure. Oh, steel roller. That's pretty sweet. That won't KO. And they can they can't do that to Avalog anymore. And recover, and I should be fine. Aqua Jet shouldn't KO me. And I'm glad I attacked that way round. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm glad I attacked that way round because I got to find out about the Steel Roller. So. Okay. It's game one. Game one. Take care of the front two and then Tapu Gulu can win and Avalok can win, so.
because I know that they are assault vest on the 20th. So I could leave with Diggersby and just Giga Impact turn one. Like a Digger Digger Impact. <laughs> That's what it's called now. It's called Digger Impact. Um, Digger Impact and Circle Punch the Tornadoes, and that should be a KO. So I'm going to switch it out because Gengar obviously did nothing there. Uh, switch out for Diggers B. I like should put them off going the Trick Room routes. Definitely still boogaloo. I'm going to switch up and have Tornadus, and they are just not to bring in Trick Room. Not when I didn't care about the speed. Okay, that was miscalculated. Um, hmm. Okay. And to her, fair enough. Oh, they are Choice Scar! You got it right, Keen, well done. Do they go for Hypnosis? Because I could Sucker Punch KO them if they attack. That goes pretty wrong if oh, they go for Hypnosis. Azumarill and I don't get him notice. Oh, it's Lorantis, okay. That should still be a nice chunk, but we will see. It's just Heavy Slam, okay, so I could have sucker punched. Now I the Assault Vest, but that's okay, because I'm living. And this is a nice chunk. That's a nice chunk. Poison jab on the Lancets, right? Three turns. Okay. 
Which one? You would assume Azumarill, because the defense boost would be nice for them. This has to be a double up on Spooder, right? Because you can't just let me for it for Azumarill. One would assume. Yeah. And don't be Starfall into the Tornadus. Which it is. Which is very unfortunate because uh, that was not very respectful of my Tapu Bulu Dynamics. So now. Gotta be Grim Snow and Fake Cow, I think. Quite surprised they didn't attack the, the Tapu Bulu. Rock and Berry, okay. Yeah, because I could have just overgrowth them. They didn't even steal Spike, so that was quite surprising. This is not looking good now. I was expecting to um, keep the tornado, switch it out again, and then be able to max the tornado, but that didn't happen. I got that one wrong. So now they steal spike. I'm surprised they didn't do that into the Grimmsnarl slot. I guess it overwrites the terrain, but still. Okay, that seems like a two-shot to me. Diggersby survives the turn. I'm in great shape. But I don't expect it to. I'm just doing this to get fake out again. Like so. Hmm. Actually, you know, it would probably be better to just sacrifice Grim Snarl and get the. Um. The. They could be on the paid switch, and then I decide to punch and overgrowth. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let's do a cal. That was a mistake from me. Yeah, that's definitely not guessing there, Laurentis. And then it gets locked into poison jabs, so that doesn't really work. Yeah, I messed that one up. That needs to be sacrifice Grim Snarl. And diggers be just ice punches and horn leeches, and then I'm fine. Because then they can't lock into close combat and poison jabs, so that was a throw from me.
Fake out doesn't particularly help at this point. Oh! Fake out would have helped so much! Hmm. Only other double back. I don't think I'm in a winning position anymore, especially if they poison jab the Grim Snow instead, which they should do. Unless I crit this Darkest Barrier. No. But they went for Booting. That's certainly not going to help, but. Is this still possible? How would this still be possible? They poison jab the Grim Snarl. That would be how it's possible. So otherwise I don't see it. And this also needs to be able to KO the Ashifu. They've got to have poison jab, especially on the Scarf. Might have been worth not revealing Side Punch because I'm probably losing unless they target the Grim Snarl. Even then, Horn Leech needs to KO the Urshifu, which I'm not sure it will. They close combat for some reason. Do that. If they poison jab the Grim Snarl, I can win. If they poison jab the Voodoo, I was losing regardless. They went for Wicked Blow. But it was enough to KO, so um, that is fair enough. Uh, if I Spirit Break crit the Azumarill. But then they just act project and wicked blow and that should still be a KO, so yeah. I threw that one away by switching out the Grim Snarl. I was like, oh I need fake out. Um, and also, switch and max guard was bad. Switch and attack would have been okay as well. But um Yeah, it's just Acrojet and Wicked Blow and there's nothing I can do. Okay. Because that was still entirely winnable. Oh, we're in this. <laughs> Let's go, Grim Snarl. Sucker Punch is not going to be enough in the slightest. But, you know, here comes the Bright Powder. Right, so, like, because that was so winnable. Because we didn't do anything. Because that slot has not done anything. Gengar Grimmsnarl would have still been amazing into that Urshifu. Her bronze one, because I can just Darkest Lariat and Shadow Ball. If they target themselves for some reason. Um, yeah. Okay. Tornadius would be better against it. Because I can go for the Dark Pulse and. Um, or the Air. Not Air Strength, Darkness and Dark and Slayer. So I'll switch up to that. And that's still okay against most things. Definitely those three. 
Gengar has been not so great. But it is pretty good against everything except the Urshifu that was brought last time. Avalog is still decent. I'm gonna bring Avalog. Don't switch the bonsai out. Don't switch into a zoomer or something. That would be very cruel. <coughs> okay, okay. I don't think there's really anything that Urshifu can do. Like, it will three-shot me with a wicked blow. Surely. There's no way it two-shots. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. Oh, I'm life orb. No, I'm life orb. Oh no. Um, it's Max Garden Spirit Break then. is an Azumarill again, then I'm looking not too bad, but that's a Magma Zone. Um, ooh, that's a Magma Zone. That was a good switch up to the Magma Zone. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Is it going to be sturdy as well? So bad. Yeah, no, I'm gonna lose this to Magma Zone now. I don't think there's any there. Uh, I should have probably sucker punched the Magma Zone. Um, so I could break the sturdy. Uh, if I survive these, uh, the Steel Beam, maybe, with the Assault Vest. Because they're not a boosting item at least. Come on, Grimmsmug, watch it out! No. No, they just steal spike three times, so there is nothing I can do. I just get swept. Um... Like, I cannot see anything I can do. I'm going to Avalug, and I can switch out the Tornadus 
and body press, but like I, I lose. I straight up lose. I didn't respect the Magnum Zone at all in this game three. Yeah, and letting Trick Room go up would have been okay if I'd have just let the Avalog come in. So, yeah. That was a big mistake for me. What do I do? There is nothing to be done. Hope that the Wicked Blow was a, like, super dirty roll. There is nothing to be done. Like, I'll be sturdy, but yeah, I, I just lose now. That's a shame, because that game 2 was so winnable. I very much threw it by switching out the Grim Snarl. If I'd have just sacked the Grim Snarl, I'm in a great position to just Ice Punch and um, Overgrowth. But yeah, I, yeah, I didn't respect Magnazone in the slightest in this game 3. At least the Sturdy's broken. <laughs> but they're faster than my Tapu Bulu. Because I was debating, like, speedy Tapu Bulu before. And if I'd have crit the high horsepower then, that could have been something. But yeah, I, ca I cannot win. It is just a wicked blow into Avalug. It is a steel spike into Bulu, and I have very much lost. So that was a good adjustment for game three for them. Like, I, I with my adjustment, I could do nothing. Um, guess if I'd gone for Air Slash into the... Uh, I should turn one other survive, KO'd myself, but KO'd them. They'd have got up Trick Room, but I could have gone into Avalug. But even then, if I get doesn't really matter, I'll just click button so they can win. Um, but yeah, that game two, that was a that was a big throw by switching out the Grim Snarl. Like they they played very well. Like throughout the whole of the games, they play very well. But that game two was very winnable. This one was very much not, but that game two was entirely winnable. Yeah, I did not respect Magnus Zone in the slightest. And that was my downfall, so congrats to Tids. And that is me done for this season. I've heard there's another season going to happen at some point, so uh, I would most likely be joining that one, so look out for that in the horizon. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately that's the end of my run. Top 4, then top 8, and then top 16 next time. I'm not going to jinx that. I'm just going to stop the video.